Today we're going to prove that the limit of x approaches 0 of sine of x over x equals 1. This is probably the most famous limit in mathematics. And if we plug x equals 0 in this limit, we get a 0 over 0 case. So you might think we could actually use Lobezos theorem to prove that this limit equals 1. So this is just the limit as x approaches 0 of we differentiate sine of x all divided by the derivative of x and this is the limit as x approaches 0 of cosine of x that is 1. Okay this actually works but we can use Lopezos theorem to solve this limit because to find the derivative of sine of x that is cosine of x you have to know that this limit equals 1, so we can use Lopezos rule. I did a video about this, so you can go and check it. So, how do we actually solve this limit? We can do it geometrically. Here we have our unit circle. Notice that by definition, this segment right here is just sine of x, and this segment right here is the tangent of x. And this arc length right here, by definition of radians, is this angle in radians. So we can put down some inequality. Sine of x is less or equal to x. That is less or equal to tangent of x. Now we can manipulate this inequality to actually solve this limit. Now we are assuming that x is positive. Otherwise, we are to flip the inequality. Now we can take the reciprocal, so 1 over sine of x is greater or equal to 1 over x, that is greater or equal to cosine of x over sine of x. Now we want sine of x over x here in the middle, so we can multiply everything by sine of x. So we get sine of x divided by sine of x is greater or equal to sine of x over x that is greater or equal to cosine of x over sine of x times sine of x. Now we can simplify sine of x, sine of x, sine of x and sine of x and we get 1 is greater or equal to sine of x over x that is greater or equal to cosine of x. Now let's see what happens when we take the limit as x approaches 0 from the plus side because we're assuming that x is positive of this inequality. Okay, 1 is just 1, is a constant, and in the middle we have the limit we are trying to prove. And the limit as x approaches 0 plus of cosine of x is just 1. And since this limit is between 1 and 1, it has to be equal to 1. So we get that the limit as x approaches 0 plus of sine of x over x equals 1. Now we have to do the same thing for the other one-sided limit. So notice that when we take the limit as x approaches 0 minus or 1 is 1, and when we take the limit as x approaches 0 minus of cosine of x is also 1. And as you can see here, even though it's approaching 0 from the minus side, the angle, the value of the cosine is always positive. So we don't have to flip the inequality. And we get that the limit as x approaches 0 minus of sine of x over x is equal to 1. That is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 plus of sine of x over x. And we finally get that the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x equals 1. If you enjoyed my video, leave a thumbs up, share this video with your friends. Until next time, bye!